Okay, I'm going to talk about what you need to play darts, first of all. All you need is really just three darts, a dart board, and a light. And, and you have darts, a real inexpensive game. What makes darts so famous and so you know played all around the world is that no matter what your age is, your height, your weight, your endurance, your, your capabilities physically, it doesn't really matter because you could be three foot two or six foot seven and still throw darts bad or good. So that's what makes it such a great game. Uh, darts goes back hundreds of years. It was said that uh, the soldiers or uh, the uh, warriors would play with these short darts, these short like spears, and they would throw it into the sides of uh, wine barrels. But as the game got more complex, what they would actually do was cut down trees, saw the tree so you'd have a, a, you know, the, the, the roundness of the tree where the lines of the actual tree actually become later on, become your dartboard. And that was how they can get in close with that. It was even said that they played darts on the Mayflower coming here. Some people will say it's, it's, it's bogus. I don't really know, it's, it's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of speculation. There's really no determined uh, fact is that they said that he did play on the Mayflower, but you know what? They're playing it more and more now, and what happened was, I think, as, as, as uh, they would play these tournaments when they started playing into the tree as, as targets, as it got cold, they couldn't play outside, the game came indoors. And as the game came indoors and we progressed, it became darts, as we know. If we come back, I'll go over every aspect that I know about darts.